Well, we know the drill all too well when someone is diagnosed with cancer, chemotherapy, radiation, often the prescription to try to fight the disease, but there are other ways, exciting new ways to fight it. We've got Dr. Panit Chana with Texas Oncology here to talk with us about that. Doctor, thank you for coming in. Thanks. And it is an exciting time in the fight against cancer that these new uh, treatments and therapies are coming to the forefront. Right. So, you know, we've made tremendous progress in this disease in the last several years, and uh, we have exciting new ways in which cancer is being treated now. Traditionally, chemotherapy was sort of our mainstay of treatment, chemo and radiation. Now we have uh, biologic therapy, targeted agents, and then immunotherapy. Um, that can be used to treat cancer as well. Let's start with immunotherapy, and we were just talking about this. It's it's a double win in that it's it's proven in a lot of cases to be very effective, and it's also easier on the patient as they're going through the fight. That's right. So, immunotherapy is a, a form of treatment that uh, was first uh, shown to be effective in melanoma. Now it's being used for all different types of cancers: lung cancer, melanoma, gastrointestinal cancers. Um, and the, the treatment works uh, by taking the breaks off the immune system. Your own immune system recognize the, recognizes the cancer cells, gets rid of them. Um, it is, in some cases, more effective and significantly more effective than chemotherapy and then um, uh, much less toxic as well. Yeah, and that's a big deal. And obviously, it's got to be scary to first put some of these new treatments in place when time is of the essence. Anytime you're fighting cancer, you don't want to go down the wrong rabbit hole. You don't want to try something as opposed to some of the more tried and true, even with all their faults. Right. But now we're seeing good results from these therapies. We are. And in a lot of cases, for example, in melanoma, the effectiveness of these drugs is far superior than chemotherapy um, and we can offer patients more hope in terms of response rates and then tell them at the same time that their uh, treatment is going to be significantly less toxic for them as well. Yeah. So quality of life so much better again as they go through the fight. Uh, immunotherapy not the only uh, new uh, tool in the toolbox. Though. That's right so there are uh, better techniques for radiation therapy that can target different tumors uh, throughout the body. Uh, an exciting sort of form of treatment that might some patients might have heard about is called CAR T cells. Uh, this is a technology that's being used for uh, cancers of the uh, lymphatic system and of the bone marrow. We take out your um, uh, white blood cells, infect them with a virus, give them back to you. They recognize the cancer cells and kill them. Exciting technology that offers hope for a lot of different types of cancers. Yeah, and hope is so important in that's that right. fight, whatever fight there is. And I would imagine it's exciting too because we hope we're just maybe on the tip of the iceberg with these therapies to treat more types of cancers, maybe later diagnosis, even cases where hope would have been in short supply before. That's right. So one of the benefits of these new treatments is that because they're less toxic, we can offer them to individuals who traditionally would not have been offered chemotherapy because the chemotherapy was too toxic for them. Um, so uh, we can offer these treatments now to uh, individuals that are more elderly, that have more comorbidities, um, and to tell them that, hey, this could be effective, but much less toxic for you. Um, I think it gives uh, hope to a lot of uh, individuals that previously would not have these opportunities. Yeah, not just in maybe even cured, not cured, but quality of life for just a longer time of life, especially maybe if they're a little bit older. That's right. I think preserving their quality of life uh, is really important, uh, especially in elderly individuals where you want to maximize uh, that time. Yeah, really exciting times again in the fight against cancer. Dr. Panit Chatta from Texas Oncology. We appreciate your time, doctor. Thank, Thank you. you. Right. We're going to be right back.